All right, so let's go into our Wuji stance. Feet about shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent. Bring your hips forward just a little bit, flattening the back. Relax the shoulders, let your arms come down in front of you. Feel like the top of the head is being lifted upward, elongate the spine. Tuck the chin in just a little bit. Breathe in and out through the nose. Nice deep abdominal breathing. So as you breathe in, your abdomen expands. There's a pause and then you exhale as the abdomen contracts back towards the spine. And there's another pause and you start all over again. And just let the breath pass through you. Allow everything to relax. Focus on that feeling of breathing in and out. Let your energy settle down into the earth. Feel your feet sinking into the ground. Let's go to a little bit of a wider stance and start with knocking on the door of life today. So keeping that nice straight posture, just slowly start to turn in the hips and the waist until the momentum causes your arms to strike your body. So you shouldn't have to lift your arms. Your arms are hanging as the Chinese say, like ribbons of silk. And as you twist to the side, look over the shoulder, see if you can get a little further around each time. Just a few more. And slow it down. <laughs> Turn palms up. And as they come up, go back on, go on, sorry, not back, go forward onto your toes. Then you turn palms down as you bend your knees and then straighten your legs and go back onto the heels, lifting the toes off the ground. So you're swinging back and forth. Couple more. And slow it down. Good. Let's get rid of some of the stress that we all experienced. All that shoveling we've been doing. Let's 
do the pump. So the hands come up just like we kind of did, except they turn over and they throw it more vigorously down to the ground. Wow, through your mouth, breathe in through your nose. Two more. Go ahead. Got a little wider stance so that you're nice and stable. And just turn a couple big circles with the arm and shifting of the weight. The arm comes in front of you and then over your head. And then reverse. And then switch arms. And reverse. And the same idea, except now we're going to go straight forward, alternating the arms. And turning slightly at the waist. A little bit of a weight shift. Make sure to stay within your comfort zone. Limit the movement if you have any discomfort. And reverse. And slow it down. Let's do, uh, well, I was gonna do embracing the heavens. Hands in front of you, palms up. Interlace the fingers. This is the uh, first move in the eight brocade. Where as we breathe in, we straighten up a little bit. We bring the energy up through the bottom of the feet, up the torso. Hands rotate in front of the face, turn palms up, push up and slightly back as you look between your fingers. Then holding your breath, look forward, exhale down. So we breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. You notice it comes up and goes slightly behind my shoulders. One more time. Good. Hands facing the ground. Doesn't matter which shoulder, you're gonna look over the one shoulder as you rotate your thumbs up and back. So we just go right around like that. And then back to the center. And the opposite shoulder. Owl looks back. Breathe out as you look back. Breathe in as you come back to the center. Make use of the pause between the breaths to get a little bit of extra stretch and then to get a little extra relaxation.
One more time each side. And back to center, good. Let's do dragon spreads its tail. So palms up, bring the energy right up your midsection to the chest. Then bring your hands over to your left side, palms facing you. As you breathe out, the palms turn away and push away as you look over your right shoulder. As you breathe in, focus on that outer palm coming in. Breathe out as you focus on the horizon on the opposite shoulder. Push with the heel of the hand, not with the fingers. So the fingers stay very relaxed. By pushing with the heel of the hand, you don't lock out the elbow. It's rare in Qigong that we lock out any of the joints. One more time. Bring it back into the middle. Push the energy down, bring a fresh energy to the right shoulder. Push and breathe out. Breathe in as you come back. One more. Breathe into the middle and push it down into the ground. Go ahead and put your hands on your hips, fingers facing forward. Take the thumbs, place it on either side of your spine. Lean forward. As you breathe in, Stick the fingers in there. Breathe out, relax, move the fingers up about a quarter or a half inch and then do it again. Work your way up and down nice and slowly. Couple more. And bring your hands back down to your hips. Well, before we do that, let's just take our palms, just rub our kidneys. Being winter, we always want to stimulate the kidneys. With an open fist, so you've got your hands sort of like this rather than a full fist it's kind of open so there's a hollow here just go in the, the fleshy part of the top part of your buttocks here 
and just tap. You're going from your hips back almost to the spine, but not hitting the spine and just back and forth. Good, go ahead. Put your fingers forward, your thumbs back, just right up on your hips and turn nice big hip circles. So we push our hips back, then to the side, then forward, then the opposite side. Try to do it all out of the waist and hips. So the head hardly moves at all. It's not really a weight shift in the legs all out of the hips and the waist if you can. And reverse. Slow it down, and now using the very bottom of your spine, the coccyx, draw little circles. And reverse. And slow it down. Go to a wider stance. Pressing the palms. So the hands are going to come up. Prayer position over your head. Push the palms together as you sink down. Breathe in as you come up. Breathe out as you go down. Do the bend all out of the knees. We're not leaning forward at all. One more time. Good. Stay in the wide stance. You can put your hands on your hips if you want. You can put your hands out to the side or facing the ground. Whatever gives you that stability but challenges you a little bit. What you're going to do is you're going to bring the left leg in bring it up and then drop it. Then bring the other leg, the right leg up and drop it. So you're making a little vibration when you, your foot hits the floor. Try to have it hit as flat as you can so you're not landing on the ball or just the heel. It's hitting all three points on the foot, basically the inner and outer part of the foot here and the heel all together. Buddha stomp. Vibrations you should feel throughout your entire skeletal system. 
This is great for the bones. One more time each side. And relax. Good. Now this is very similar to knocking in the door of life, just spinal twisting. So just, we're not making contact here. Here we're just going to turn. Go to a wide stance on this. Now, as you turn to one side, that side, lift the toe off the ground, and then you're gonna switch. So as I go to this side, I lift, then I lift. Few more. Good. And bring it in, shake the legs out a little bit. Go back to about shoulder width apart. Bring your arms up in front of you and extend it from the body. And imagine you're holding a set of oars here. So you're gonna pull the oars into the body, then you're gonna feather them, bring them forward. Let the body kind of rock and sway a bit. Let the spine undulate. Breathe in as it comes into the body, breathe out as you push them away. Rowing the boat. Keep it nice and slow. You all have a tendency to speed up. You want your breath to be long and deep. few more. Last one. Good. Let's do two flows for the chest. First one is heart to the sky for the heart. We're simply just gonna open our chest up. Chest to the ceiling, looking up to the ceiling, breathing in, breathe out, prayer position and collapse. So when you're breathing in, feel like the rays of sunlight entering the body. And then when you squeeze that throughout the rest of your body.
one more time and then we're going to transition into lung flow. So this time we go out, same way, chest to the sky, but as we come back, thumb and first finger touch and then the pinkies come together. Forearms squeeze the chest. The lung meridian starts in the chest, comes down to the thumb. That's the yin meridian. The yan meridian to that is the large intestine, which starts the first finger and then comes up the back of the arm. So by connecting the thumb and the first finger, we establish a circuit. One more time. This time, go ahead and open up all the way. Just kind of bathe in the energy. And swan dive down. Bending the knees just slightly or a lot. Just don't lock them out. Just let your body hang. And with each exhalation, see if you can get your body to sink just a little bit further. Make sure to relax the head and the neck. Bend the knees, you can put, even put the hands on the floor, go into like a squat. Take your elbows, put it inside your knees, hands in prayer position, and just push out and hold. Do it only as low as comfortable. If this isn't comfortable, putting your hands just here is fine. Whatever works. Release the hands. You can put the hands again on the floor. Push up with the legs. Come all the way up on the legs. Don't use the lower back. Good. Let's go to a, stay with the wide stance, but make sure your feet are turned out so that as you go down, in the horse riding stance, a couple things to be aware of. One, make sure you're not pushing your weight forward so that your knees come out over your feet. The idea here is you wanna put a little weight into the heels and imagine there's a seat back here that I'm trying to sit down on so that I'm coming down and my knees are following the angle of my feet and I'm just sinking down and then I can come straight back up. Just find that comfortable position first for the horse riding stance. You just can hold it for a second, come back up, sink back down, come back up. Just loosen everything up that way. One more time. Just sink down to whatever's comfortable. Nice, flat, straight back. Breathe into it and then push back up. Good. So this is another one from the eight brocade. Wag the head, nod, sorry, nod the head, wag the tail. So we're going to bend down, look at our outside heel, doesn't matter which side you start on. From the heel to the toe, you're going to look to the opposite toe, come straight across to the heel, then you come right back up. Then you go back down to where you just finished from, go across and back up. So we're going to hold our breath as we go through the process from heel to heel. 
So we breathe in as we come back up. We breathe out as we drop down, hold your breath. Then breathe back in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Last one. Come back up. Good. Bring it into that shoulder width apart. Shake the legs out a little bit. Let's do a nice posture for the kidneys. The fountain, nice and simple. We're just going to let the hands drop down, back and the hands come together, bringing the energy up through the soles of your feet, up the legs, up the torso, to the chest, about this point here, and then taking whatever energy we no longer need, sending it back to the earth. So we breathe in, breathe out. This is a nice one to close your eyes. Try to get into the flow. Try to visualize or feel the energy coming up from the ground through the soles of your feet, up your legs, up your torso, right to the chest and then back out. couple more. You can finish with your hands down by the lower Dantian. Bring the feet fairly close together. Hands cross. Then they spread open wide, come up to shoulder height. Come back down and then come up all the way above your head and cross and reach upward as you're doing that. Breathe out as you come down, breathe in as you come up. So we alternate here. One more time, come all the way up. Get a little extra stretch here. And come down. Good. Now we're gonna to continue to do this, but this time as we come up, lift the foot and put it back down. Then lift the opposite foot, put it back down. Find that focal point about 12 feet in front of you. Very nice.
Now, if you feel stable with this, you want to go one step further. As you come up, you go out, then you go down. Try to just have it flow so that you don't even have to really think about it. You're not balancing for very long. Good. One more time. Good. Bring the feet close together again. Big sweep up. Cross. Turn the palms out, sweep down as you bend down and hug your knees. Breathing out. Breathe in all the way up. Breathe out, hug the knees. One more time. Come on back up, feet shoulder width apart. Let the hands just come up. They come, sorry, they come just up about chest height, push forward, then drop down. So breathing in, breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Pushing the pillars. Now see if you can get a little bit of a weight shift. So as you're pushing out, you're going back under your heels. As you go down, you shift back towards your toes. One more time. And continue to come up this time, but now you're gonna to push to the sides and go down. Pushing with the heels of the hands, not the fingers. One more time. This time we're gonna do, just like we did the first time, we're gonna come up, we're gonna push forward we're going to leave the arms extended and bring them to our sides and then down. Make sure when you come to the side that you come no more than to your side. Don't bring them back. If you want to keep them slightly in front of you, that's fine. But you don't want to go to the point of weakness or causing yourself any problems. One more time. Drop it down. Let's do washing the barrels, cleansing the energetic system. 
So each of your hands are like shower nozzles, shooting out fresh, wonderful, clear, loving energy. So we're gonna bring one, one hand up. Let's start with the left hand, comes up the body, past the head, all the way up above the top of the head, facing the top of the head. Then as that hand comes down, the right hand comes up the body, doing the same thing. Don't worry about the breathing here. Try to do it nice and slow. Try to feel that energy cascading down and over your body, clearing out any impurities. any blockages, any darkness, any stagnation. If it helps, imagine silver light coming out of your palms. Next time we come down, transition to two hands. So both hands come up together. Just really feel that cascading down about your body. One more time, and then we're gonna go back to alternating hands. A few more. And down. Do both palms facing each other. As you breathe in, separate them by about three inches. As you breathe out, let them come back to the starting point. Fingers, hands, never touch. Feel the energy building between your hands. Try to feel the resistance as you pull away and then the resistance as you push them closer together. So it's like pulling taffy as they pull away and squeezing an inflated balloon as you push them together. Relax the fingers, relax the hand, hands. One of my instructors likens your hands to like fishtails. So they just go back and forth. Nice and loose and relaxed, allowing the energy to flow out of the palms. Good, one more time. And just stop and feel that energy ball between your hands. Go to a wider stance. Roll that ball over so your left arm is on top. And we're just gonna Roll the ball as we shift the weight. Bang. 
playing with the chi ball or one variation of playing with the chi ball. I'll show you another one in a second. So notice my arms are not moving except to just turn the ball. It's the weight shift that moves the ball and my arms from side to side. Try to maintain contact with the ball. So this is less like a swimming stroke. You're literally holding this ball and turning it over. Good. Just a few more. And come back to the center. Stay with that wider stance. Drop your right hand. Take your left hand, turn it over. Feel the weight of the ball still in that left hand. Shift your weight over to the right lift that ball up over the, your head, then take that ball, push it down into the earth and gather up new ball with the right hand as you shift to the opposite side. Try to feel that energy as you gather it in your palm and then the weight of it as you lift it upward and then you release it into the ground and then you gather new energy with the opposite hand. One more time each side. Come back to the center. One we haven't done for, no, for a while, the eight brocade. Punching with fierce eyes. So go ahead and make very loose fists and put those fists palm up on your hips, a little wider stance. The left hand comes out, it rotates so the palm is down and you punch right to the middle. Then you gather energy and you pull it back into the hip Then you switch. That's the slow version. And each time you go out, drop down a little bit. Each time you come back, stand tall again, never locking out the knees. So here's one of those weird cases where we're actually going to force the body to be tense in Qigong. We don't do that very often. So when you punch, I want you to concentrate that punch so that you're really hitting something hard here. But at the same time, I want you to tense every single muscle in your body, including your face. And that's where the expression of fear size comes from. Because when you punch really hard, you're gonna open your eyes really hard. And you're just gonna really tense every part of your body. And you're gonna breathe out. And you're gonna breathe in when you bring it back and relax. So let's try it. Starting with the left hand, wide stance. Breathe out. <sighs> breathe in. Tense every part of that body and then relax every part of the body.
Two more. And relax. Bring feet together. Bringing down the heavens. Palms face up. Lift as you breathe in. Feel that energy gathered in your palms. And then as you breathe out, push that, palm, that energy down the body into the ground. Twice more. And finish with both hands over the lower Dantian, one hand over the other. Feet as close together as comfortable. Just let yourself relax. Let your body sway and rock like bamboo in the wind. Feel and visualize that energy coming out of your palms, going into that little pearl, which is your lower Dantian. And that little pearl is absorbing all of that energy, all of that light, it's getting warmer, it's getting brighter. And as it grows, it spirals down the legs and up the torso. And as it moves through your body, it's dispelling any darkness, any stagnation, any blockages. Removing negative thoughts and emotions. As your body is filled with this beautiful, warm, loving light. And let it expand out beyond your physical body, surrounding you in a protective cocoon. Just allow yourself to weightlessly float inside that cocoon. Become aware of what it feels like to be safe. To be healthy. To be at peace. Take a deep breath in. Gather up those feelings. And hold them tight and take them with you for the rest of the day. Thank you.